Teachers are generous, too generous in fact. Some of us are generous with our time, generous with our knowledge, generous with our detentions, or if you're like me, generous with our bad jokes. But apparently the majority of us have been too generous with our grading. Why do I say that? We'll get comfortable, click that subscribe button, and we're going to dig in to some of the latest on Ofqual. So as you know, and as I've spoken about at some length, your teachers have graded you this year based on your previous performance over the duration of your course, whether that be GCSE, AS or A-level, or any other VTQs and BTECs. They then submitted these grades to Ofqual. Ofqual was then standardised those grades and make sure everything was nice, fair and as it should be. Although nice, fair and as it should be is very subjective and changes from person to person and from organisation to organisation. You see, when Ofqual got those grades from us teachers from around the country, it turned out that the A-levels were on average 12 percentage points higher than they were in 2019. And the GCSE results were 9 percentage points higher than they were in 2019. Schools Week, which is where I'm getting some of this information from, broke it down a little bit more. And they gave some peak examples of the grades rising this year, such as A-level students with a grade B or above going from 51.6% in 2019 to 65% this year. Or the fact that 82.4% of GCC students got a grade 4 or above this year, when last year it was only 72.7%. Of course, took a look at these results and basically said, that's not right. Students simply aren't this smart. In fact, we refuse to accept it. And fair enough. Besides the lockdown and this grading system, there has been no massive overhaul or reform to education or assessment or anything like that in the recent year. So there's no reason that we should see such a massive uplift in grades. There's nothing to prompt it. There's nothing to cause it. Of course, even said themselves, they've never seen a rise this large. It's never occurred before. But I've got two problems here. The first is that unfortunately, I'm not quite sure that you subscribed yet. So hurry up and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any GCC, A-level or general education news that you'll find useful in the future. The second problem, the real problem, is that even though we've never seen this sort of improvement from cohort to cohort before, it doesn't necessarily mean that those students don't all deserve those grades. I've said it in past videos and I'll say it again. Our current assessment system is far from perfect. Do I believe that there's a huge amount of students with grade four levels of skill who have been ending up with twos and threes in the past? Yes, I do. Do I think that exams serve certain students and continue to perpetuate a certain status quo that this is what it means to be smart and skilled and have ability within a subject? Yes, I do. I, like many of you, sit exams well. I do very well in exams, my results show that, but I accept that there's those that don't. I for a fact know that I've met people throughout life, whether it was when I was in school, um, sixth form, A level, or even now as a teacher, who have skills that are just that are on par with mine, even maybe surpassing mine. They deserve grades just as good or just as mediocre, depending on how you judge my grades, but they don't exam well, so they don't have the same qualifications that I do. Anyway, we're moving off topic, so let's refocus on the grades being too high, or on of course saying that the grades are too high. So with this massive rise in grades, what have of course chosen to do? Well, they said in order to preserve the value of the grades, they will of course adjust them down. But this isn't a blanket grab everyone's grades and minus one. Instead, although the majority of students will have at least one adjusted grades, and by the looks of it, it will probably be adjusted lower, of course have assured us that the majority of student grades will end up exactly the same as what the teachers have submitted. And almost all the grades would be either the same or within one grade of what the teachers submitted. Which is of course annoying, but at the same time, it's not as bad as we thought. So those of you who are very clearly operating at or working towards a grade eight, unfortunately, there's a chance that you might go down to a seven, but there's a very, very, very good chance that you'll keep the eight or that your other grades will remain untouched. So that's not such a bad thing. 
But then how would you know if your grades had been lowered in the first place? I mean, your teachers will know, but how would you know? Well, there's something called a student access request. And trust me, that's an entire video within itself, something that we'll no doubt get to in the future. For now though, let's take comfort in knowing that you're going to get pretty much the same grades that your teachers awarded you, that your teachers thought that you were going to get. And also, don't stress. There's not much you could do right now, it's out of your control. I know I've been saying this for about two or three months, but really, it's not worth hassling yourself about. Just be prepared for that results day. Get in there early and be ready to take whatever action needs to be taken after you get those results, okay? At the moment, just slightly on pause because you're waiting for that results day, but once that happens, you can move on with the rest of your life. Things start speeding up and the whole world is gonna open out to you. So that's all for today. Let me know your thoughts on how these grades have been adjusted or how this CS cohort has done in comparison to the last one. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and hit that bell as well so that you don't miss the next video. That's all for now. Until next time.